Hey guys, have you guys checked out my last video where I went to Mayo showroom to check out their range of oven? I got myself their candy wash and touch oven which has a beautiful touchscreen panel. It even connects to the Wi-Fi. You can browse the web or control the oven using your phone which is really easy. Since Chinese New is around the corner, I'll be making laksa cookie with the candy oven. So let's get started. So to start off right, you need to mix in your butter and the blanch bowl alongside with your icing sugar. I'm just using a spatula to mix them together. Once you have in your butter mixture, Add in the laksa paste. Now you can actually get the laksa paste from supermarket. It's actually really easy to find. I don't really have any brands I would recommend, so just go with whatever you like. Do you guys have any brands to recommend to me then? Now, I'll be adding some coconut milk powder. We are going to add a mixture of cornstarch and plain flour. So throw that into the bowl. It's a really easy combination to make at home. You not to worry about it. Now before we mix everything evenly together, right? I want to chop some curry leaves and just use a mincer to actually finely chop it. Now once you have finally chopped your curry leaf, right, add that into the mixing bowl. Wow, the leaf smells really good. Once it turns into a dough, right, make sure to form it into a bowl and then wrap it with clean wrap and put it in the fridge for at least an hour to let it cool. So my dough has been chilling it for about an hour now and it's time to roll it out. So I'll get my rolling pin. And I want to dust some flour onto the counter surface to prevent it from sticking. So you make sure to dust the rolling pin also. Not too much, just a little bit for the surface. So I will roll half of the dough first. It's a really manageable dough, really easy. If it's too soft, uh, just put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes before rolling it again. You don't want it to be too thin, uh, about half a centimetre, it's great. Just use a cookie cutter, right? Make sure to dust it as well, and then cut it. Carefully place onto a baking tray with parchment paper. So I have rolled out of the dough and uh, it's time to bake it. Bake it at a preheated oven at 170 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. It's that simple.
So the cookies have baked for about 12 minutes and I will let it cool completely and I'll show how it looks like later on. So my cookie has been cooling for about 30 minutes and it's really lovely. So I'll give it a taste. Mm. Very strong. It's very buttery. More towards the crunch side. And wow. It's also very spicy. You don't get the spice at the very beginning. You don't feel the spice at the very beginning. But as you eat right and swallow the cookie, you can feel that wow, the laksa the, the spice is like bursting out. The flavour is like bursting out in your mouth and it tastes really good. You should definitely try this recipe. It's really easy and I'm sure it will impress your relative. Make them make them a batch and they will love you. <laughs> I'll be putting these cookies in this beautiful jar and I wish you guys happy Chinese New Year. Hopefully I can produce another video by next week. I, I'm not sure because uh, I'm really very busy these days. Still, I would like to wish you guys happy Chinese New Year and thanks Mayer for this beautiful oven. I will try to use it more often and I really love it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, bye bye.